Here's a question. Who invented pasteurized milk? If you said Louis Pasteur, you're only half right. Pasteur invented the process that carries his name, but he had no interest in milk. And all he cared about was beer. In 1856, Lille, France is a beer town, and there's big trouble brewing. Beer keeps going bad, and no one knows why. Louis Pasteur is a chemistry professor in Lille, and he's studying fermentation, a hot topic at the time. Scientists aren't sure how sugar turns into alcohol, but Pasteur thinks there's life involved. The scientist takes samples of beer from local breweries and studies them under his microscope. He looks at fresh beer and spoiled beer again and again. For over a year, he looks for living creatures that hurt or help the alcohol. Finally, a breakthrough. Pasteur finds a key difference between good beer and bad. Good beer is full of round yeast cells, and spoiled beer is swimming with long microbes. Pasteur heats the bad beer and finds something amazing. Heating the beer for only a few minutes kills the bad microbes. This simple technique becomes known as pasteurization, and is soon adopted for beer and wine. Pasteur thinks scientists should share their discoveries, not patent their ideas. But he changes his tune when he needs money for his laboratory. He applies for a U.S. patent on May 9th, 1873, and uses the proceeds to fund his work. So where does the milk come in? Surprisingly, pasteurization doesn't hit the dairy industry for decades. Americans fear the new technology. They think it will destroy vitamins and make milk taste bad. So they want nothing to do with pasteurization. That all changes at the turn of the century. Scientists discover that cows can spread disease through their milk. Even worse, bad milk is linked with the deadliest disease of the day, tuberculosis. By 1907. Scientists know that heating the milk can stop tuberculosis cold. Soon, Pasteur's process is the law of the land. Milk will never be the same. Americans drink more than six billion gallons of milk a year, and it hardly ever makes them sick. Less than one percent of disease outbreaks are caused by bad milk, and for that, we can thank Louis Pasteur and his pursuit of better beer.